Hey everyone, so uh, I decided to make a video for the final transmission. Um, along with uh, some notes that I'll like put in the post on the website. But yeah, this video is for the Roots of Spiritual Development class. And uh, I guess it's kind of awkward like to do this because, you know, part of this assignment is to kind of speak as if you're a teacher and have something to say. Um, and it's kind of weird because I'm super young, like in my 20s, and feel like um, I don't have much to say uh, beyond perhaps just like from what I've read. Like what I know is just basically not necessarily from experience, but just from ideas that I've been exposed to over time. So um, the, the idea of like acting as a teacher just kind of relaying information that, that's my dog playing with a toy, <laughs> relaying information that others have, uh, have already given is kind of strange. Lucy, hey, I'm play with that right now. So, but I think like one of the, one of the most important things that, that I've learned in my life and, and, and one reason why I want to take this class is just being exposed to the ideas of human development. Um, and that's something that I kind of was first exposed to by Ken Wilber um, in a meaningful way in 2007. And since then, I've been kind of obsessed with, uh, with reading as much as I can about it and kind of engaging in practices to really fully experience stuff like that as much as I can. Um, so that's why I was so interested in taking this class. Like, Firstly, like we get to read the Atman Project, which was a book that by Ken that I hadn't read previously. Um, but then also, it, it's my first developmental class in graduate school, um, with the exception of maybe like a transpersonal psych class I took that had some transpersonal development elements in it. Um, but to take a class focused on spiritual development was really cool. Um, so yeah, like I feel like as a student and a teacher, um, at least with the context of this assignment, a teacher. Um, yeah, I feel like introducing human development to people is super important once you can kind of look at your psyche and look at humanity's psyche as a whole on like a model and kind of see like where you've come from or where we've come from as humans and then kind of like where we're going in development then you can kind of start to realize parts of yourself that maybe you have been unaware of in terms of like, oh, this is why I think this way. And possibly in the future, like, here's what's to come. Uh, and I think that's really cool. And, and I think probably any student um, could benefit from that, even, you know, at, at, at such an early age as, you know, um, maybe like a freshman in high school or something. So um, specifically like on spiritual development, because that's what this class is about, um, I feel like this class through kind of talking about the admin project with you guys and reading the lectures um, about spiritual development uh, has really clarified some things for me in terms of what that means. And also very recently, like a couple of weeks ago, um, I took a spiritual intelligence assessment, which kind of gave me a really in-depth uh, look about how that intelligence is progressing for me. So you have the idea, like, Ken Wilber had this model of, like, spiritual development, and you go through different stages. So, like, human development in general, like, you have some pretty broad stages. Um, depending on what model you're using, you can have anywhere from, like, three to, like, maybe ten. And uh, But any skill that human beings have, like, progress through these stages as we grow. So um, like rationality could be one of them or like values or um, like athletics or you know something like that. And so spiritual, spirituality as a skill is kind of, you know, it's kind of weird because it's not, you have to be very careful about your, def very careful about your definitions before you start measuring things. Um, so the first step, I feel like, once you're aware of human development, I guess this is me going back into teacher mode, but once you're aware of, like, human development, that it exists beyond, you know, age, like, 20, 25. Like, adults continue to develop despite what some schools of, like, psychology might say. Um, those, like, who may maybe reference Piaget a lot and focus on childhood development. Um, like, no, like, adults continue to develop for sure. 
Um, so once you're aware of that, I guess like the next step is measuring the stuff. Uh, and, and whether that's through um, like self-assessments, like an emotional intelligence assessment or a spiritual intelligence assessment or, or an IQ, right? Your IQ um, or uh, stuff for uh, um, athletics. In fact, multi, uh, the multiple intelligence theory by Howard Gardner can kind of give like a broad overview of kind of like maybe different intelligences that we have and how they all grow in different ways. Like your athletics might be up here on stage like seven, depending on what model you're using, but maybe your spiritual is down here. So one thing I had the opportunity of doing, um, I actually interned with a company here in Houston called Deep Change. Their website is deepchange.com. And uh, the CEO and, and founder, Cindy Wigglesworth, who has worked with Ken Wilber, Robert Keegan, um, and some other like developmental psychologists to develop a spiritual assessment uh, I, I had the opportunity, I interned with her and had the opportunity to take this for free and it gave me a really good sense of where I'm at spiritually, which is, you know, like pretty much level zero. <laughs> um, I'm very like uh, in like a headspace in terms of uh, thinking about these things, but subjectively experiencing spirituality has always been an issue for me. Um, and so it was, it, I mean, it was good to... I mean, I got like a 50 page, maybe that much, maybe like a 30 page report on this. So, and the metrics used and the skills identified and the science behind it is very, is very intense and, and too much to explain in a video like this. But, um, but yeah, I feel like the, ne the next step is measure, like measuring this stuff. You're aware of your development. Let's measure your skills to figure out where they are so you can be aware of where your skills are. And then going from there, um, what like practices can you use or perform to facilitate skills you want to develop in. And so the cornerstone for spirituality, um, the cornerstone practice is of course like meditation or some kind of contemplative exercise, um, which lots of different religious faiths like have um, practices for this. And so, I mean, I didn't necessarily need to take an intelligence assessment to figure out that I need to meditate more. Like I know this because I have a hard time doing that. Like I'd rather read a book than, 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 than meditate generally. Um, but uh, yeah, like identifying different practices like to maybe increase your emotional intelligence if we're not talking about spirituality, like what are things you can do there? And so I feel like um, while this class has been awesome, like focusing on the spiritual intelligence development and how that develops, um, I, I think human development as a whole is really important and I feel like being aware of your skills and being aware of ones that are kind of underdeveloped or ones that are maybe not necessarily overdeveloped but developed so high to a point where you might kind of have like a lopsided uh, skill set which isn't necessarily a bad thing because yeah I mean you choose what you want to develop you choose what you're interested in but being aware of development as a whole I think is really important as like an educator, as a student, and I think it's important to humanity. And I haven't really come across anything in my life that I have found to be more like important or profound than knowing or trying to know like who I am and who we are as people. And um, I think probably like that's the best kind of service you can give to humanity. And I wish in uh, major education systems in the West uh, I wish that was kind of like taken into account more. It's, it's bizarre to me, like graduating from high school at 18 to not know anything about that or graduating from college when I was 25, actually when I got my undergrad degree, I think I was 24, maybe, um, not knowing anything about that. Or I, you know, I did because I, 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 I did the research on my own, but, but not getting, getting any of that material from, from school. But then I sought Naropa out, and then thankfully we have classes like this one where you can start to learn about that stuff. So I hope I fulfilled the requirements of the assignment. I am going to write stuff in the forum. I just wanted to do this video, to, you know, to, to do something different, um, and and also just to uh, to to I don't know, like maybe encourage you guys to make videos too, so we can somewhat talk to each other. All right, thanks, guys.